Hey guys, Sean Madison here. I wanted to explain some of my Vonsole surfboards to you. Um, Steve asked me to make a little video about the boards to help you sell them. First, we're gonna check out the high keel. What is uh, unique about this high keel, number one is the rails. The rails are super downed. And when you have a really pinched rail, it goes really fast to the water and you can ride high lines. Usually a round rail wants to slip down where a down rail goes really, really fast. Um, I do have FCS twos. I have a, you know, a, a set of NVS fins, but a lot of different templates can work in here and um, you can really change the way it performs by changing the fins. So uh, pretty cool. You can do the click in FCS two fins or you can do um, you know, the, the old style, the original style FCS fins. Um, this particular one is here in California, even though we're building all the boards in Jacksonville, uh, yellow tint, we're doing all epoxy surfboards, two pound epoxy, uh, or EPS expanded polystyrene, uh, two pound uh, foam, and then typically a six, four, six glass job on these, um, on these fishes. Then, <clears throat> we have the shadow. The shadow is pretty much our all around kind of a utility board. It has kind of the features or characteristics of a fish, but it's not a true fish, but it has a lot of the, the, the beneficial parts of a fish where, which are um, a little fuller template, a little more foam up forward. And um, what really makes a difference in this board to most fishes is the round tail. When you have a, a, a round pin, one of the hardest things that I had, um, you know, in, uh, that I experienced riding fishes were surfing a backside. This uh, wing round pin allows the board to fit into the pocket and it becomes very, very um, maneuverable and nimble. Um, I've also found that I've done, done some unique design features in this board besides the channel, these E-wings. An elevated wing right here, it gives really smooth transition. You almost have like two edges. This edge comes forward and this edge starts to break away and fall towards the, the deck of the board. And what that does, all wings become pivot points. And when you have a flat bottom to a wing, it can become a very abrupt turn off of the wing whereas this makes the you can have almost like two rails and it really gives smooth transition to turns um five box you can ride as a twin with a a nubster you can ride as a four fin or a thruster a lot of varieties here but this is a really a fish trying to be a shortboard lastly what you guys are going to carry um is the the mini slot the mini slot is um, really a shrunken down version of one of my my long boards but this thing is crazy um, fast, super maneuverable. The rail is uh, pretty pinched on it. You'll feel it when you get it in the shop. Um, when you surf it off the tail, it feels like a shortboard. I personally like to ride as a thruster, maybe with a five inch fin, but you can do a two plus one. You can ride as a single fin. It's not ideal for nose riding, but you, it does have concave up in the nose and um, what the concave can do for the board is add some lift, <clears throat> especially when you go to paddle into the wave, you'll find that, you know, that gives, a, you know, the, the wave or the board a little burst of energy into the wave. So these are all the models that you guys are gonna carry there at Driftwood Surf Shop. Typically 6'10 to eight foot. These guys can go 5'4 to eight foot. If you do any of the bigger sizes, the rocker in the bigger sizes have a little bit no, more nose and deck rocker, you know, bottom rocker and uh, deck rocker, you know, because as you stretch the board, you have to add rocker. So five, four, up to eight foot. And then these guys typically about five, two, up to six foot, six, two. Um, most of the range where you guys are carrying them in the shop is you know, 5'5 five, five to 5'11 five, typically. All right, so that's the breakdown of the boards you guys are carrying. Thanks for the support.